LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, y'all. I'm going um, I'm to try to stay very, very calm in this video, okay? I'm going to stay calm. You got my word, okay? You got my word. I'm going to stay calm in this video, and that's just the way that is. Um, shout out to Jeff from Dream Chasing Boxing. Looked at this video, looked at Rope's video. And you know what they're doing to Guillermo Rigandau is asinine. Okay, it, it really is disgusting what they're doing to Rigandau. This man will never get respect. He's been allowed to been he he's allowed to have been ducked. And you can say whatever you want to, but Rigo said he'll move up two weight classes to fight Lomachenko. See, everything you say is null and void after that. Everything you can come with any excuse you want. Rigo did this, did that. Rigo said I'll fight you where you live at. There's nothing you can say. Okay, there's nothing you can say, and all I'm going to tell you is shut your mouth and know what your level is. Okay, that's what I'm going to tell you. But see, I'm a Lomo fan, and it's just, it's really, it's tough. It's tough being a Lomo fan. This, this is just how things started out with Triple G. Same thing. You had a lot of people, Triple G had a lot of support. We said his resume sucked. True. Now, I will admit, Vassal Lomachenko to me, I think that he's had more opposition challenges than Triple G. I think Vassal Lomachenko had, has had more tough fights than Triple G. I mean, I'm giving him Nicholas Walters. He gets Nicholas Walters because Nicholas Walters don't get a pass for getting beat by Lomo. He don't get a pass for saying, well, you know, it was a long layoff. But, but you knew it was a long layoff. A layoff, you didn't have to take the fight. You could have took a tune-up fight, Nicholas Walters. You could have took a tune-up fight, Nicholas Walters. The tune-up fight was right there for you to take, Axe Man Nicholas Walters. It was there. So don't come out now, well, I needed, a, I, you know, I, I needed an extra fight. No, you quit, Nicholas Walters. You quit. On the stool, you quit. I give Lomo full credit for beating Nicholas Walters. He gets full credit for that win. Gary Russell Jr., full credit. Okay? He gets full credit for that. <laughs> Those are two solid names on his resume, in my opinion. But that does not make this man a top five. For, it doesn't make him a top five, you know, pound for pound fighter. It, it don't. And you guys, you got to get off of this make believe, make believe, fairy tale, fairy tale, pixel dust, pixel dust. No! You got to get off of that. This man is a good fighter. And you guys are killing it because. You're not hearing us say that this guy's a good fighter. You're not hearing it. We're telling you dummies that he's a good fighter. We're telling you that, but you're not listening. The man's a good fighter. He's a great fighter, but he's unproven. Why can't you guys get that through your head? See, this is why we start rolling with Basel, and we can't because you have ignorant people that just, you know, you want to have this guy do, you want to put him in a position that he hadn't worked for. And you know what's so, you know what's so sad? The reason why I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan? Because Vassal Lomachenko is an honest guy. He point blank said, I'm not the number one pound for pound, but you popcorn pop tart farts. You keep saying that he is, and Vassal has told you that he's not. I mean, it's, guys, it's getting to a point where when you guys... When you want to come to the comment section and actually say something that's meaningful, you don't. Because you're blinded, not by the skill set of the fighter, no. Not by unbiasedness, no. You're blinded by color. Stop. Cut out. You guys need to come on. And you, and let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. You, fat boy. You, fat boy in the comment section. Know your level. Fat boy in the comment section. Know your level, fat boy. Know your level. Because I notice now. See, you, you, you started coming on to my women's MMA videos, fat boy. You started coming on to the women's MMA videos. And now you're seeping into the boxing videos again. You're back, fat boy. But I shut you down because the LDBC, we buried you. Because, fat boy, I said, come live, fat boy. Make a video response, fat boy. Make a video response, fat boy. But you won't do it. 
Because you are afraid. You're afraid. Because you know good and well. You know good and well, fat boy. You know good and well without a shadow of a doubt that you cannot justify anything that you're saying about Barcelona and Chinko. You can't do it. You cannot do it. And that's the reason why you won't do it. Rigo. <laughs> Rigo is a victim of the system. He's a victim of the system. And this man is never going to get a fair shake. This man is never going to get a break. You know, boxing really is corrupt. But see, people can't see that. Rigo did this to himself. How? How did Rigo make these guys duck him? How did he make Leo Santa Cruz duck him? How did he make Carl Frampton and Scott Quid duck him? How? He can't make them fight him. But see, you guys will give all those guys a pass. You give them all a pass. And you, and you, fat boy, you keep your mouth shut, fat boy. You keep your mouth shut. You keep your mouth shut when you're in my comment section. That's what you do. Because, see, now the only thing I'm going to say, make a video. You want to talk to me? Make a video. You want to do a video? Response? Make a video. Make a video. But, see, I know you won't do it. I know that you won't do it. I know because you cannot articulate the point that you're trying to make. And the point that you're trying to make, you're going to justify that Basil Lomachenko is in the top five pound for pound. And I say no. There are many other fighters. There are many, many, many other fighters that can be in the top five, for five, in the top five pound for pound rankings. Many other fighters. But Teddy Atlas, that, that, that buffoon. Put him, up, put him ahead of Andre Ward. Put him ahead of Terrence Crawford, who just made history. No. No, no, no. Not me. Not me as a true boxing fan. No, no, no. The coach ain't going to let this happen. The coach ain't going to let this slide. I'm not letting you guys off the hook. I'm going to keep my foot on y'all, and I'm going to make a video. Every chance I get, I'm going to dig into you guys, and I'm going to dig into you guys, and I'm going to shut your mouth fat. Because whether you like it or you don't like it, you sit down, you listen to what the coach is saying. Because the coach will smack the yellow right off your teeth. And that, my friends, that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.